All right, in this lesson, let's learn how to install Python. Now, here we have a Jupyter Notebook, and recommend you just click on this URL, but you can't get to the Jupyter Notebook without installing Python. Now, Python used to not be so easy to install. However, it's now very much a click, click, click on both major operating systems, and those two are Mac and Windows. So how do we get Python? We type Python and Anaconda. And the first one we get is download Anaconda now from Continuum Analytics. And this is the page we want to navigate to in order to download our Anaconda distribution. And it really is easy as navigating down to the bottom. And we want Anaconda 431 for Windows. And you notice we have two versions. We have this 3.6 version and we have this 2.7 version. Now, most of the time, at least if you're in the Windows world, you always like to go forward. You don't like to go back. However, most of the real world models are still being built with uh, Python 2.7. So we're going to go with Python 2.7. So download this for either Windows or download it for Mac. And I guess I did forget to mention, you can also download it for Linux. And of course, like I've mentioned a few times, we're going to download it for Windows. And it really is as easy as downloading the installer and installing it. As one of my friends says, it's a click, click, click installation. Now, the only trick is, let me close this. We need to be able to start our Python notebooks. And our Python notebooks are our development environment. All right, so in order to do that, that's a little different. Right? We don't come here and then search for our applications like we're used to in Windows. We come here and we type command, CMD. And this opens to the user's West, and this is where Python is installed. Well, it won't be West for you, but it'll be users in your name, unless you change the location of the installation. And I don't recommend you do that. So the IDE, or the development environment we're going to code in, is actually a URL. And in order to get to that URL, that thing we call a Jupyter Notebook, then you have to open it. And when we type J U P Y Jupyter, notebook. It opens the notebook. Now, one little caveat here is that once it's opened, right, you don't want to close. Let's go back here for a second. He needs to remain open because this is the server on your laptop, right? Or whatever machine you're using. This is actually running this. So if we close this down, it disconnects, right? All right, so that's how we install it. We're going to talk about the Jupyter Notebook in the next lesson. The only thing I wanted you to keep in mind was that when we do our CMD, we need to keep our Python window open. All right, we can't close it. And to order, in order to create a new notebook, we want to come to New Notebook. See, it says here, Python Notebook. And it's going to open a Python Notebook for us. And error, when created a notebook. Why is there an error? Because it looks like I shut down my command window. So let's go to the command window again. Let's type in Python. Let's type in Jupyter Notebook. Hit enter to start our server and to pull up our Python window. Now let's try it. Let's come to new and let's create our Python Notebook. And this will bring up our Jupyter Notebook. Right? And this is actually our development environment. This is where we're going to type code. Right? And in the next lesson, we're going to cover this notebook in great detail.